So there is structure of the ammonium ion. Ions carry a charge, so we must remember to either remove electrons if there's a positive charge or add electrons if there's a negative charge. The formula of the ammonium ion is NH4+. So we take out one nitrogen. We can take out one, two, three, four hydrogens. Now nitrogen is in group five of the periodic table, so it's got five electrons in its outer shell. That means it can provide one electron to share with a hydrogen. Another electron to share with a hydrogen. And another electron to share with a hydrogen. It's now used up three of its five electrons. It now has two more electrons. So this lone pair of electrons, which it would normally have, removing that hydrogen, can then join up with a positive hydrogen ion. It can, it can move into this positive hydrogen proton to give the final Lewis structure of the ammonium ion. There you are. Now the positive charge is actually spread out over the molecule. So we don't need to worry too much about that, of the molecule rather, over the ion. Now as to the actual shape of the ammonium ion, there are one, two, three, four regions of negative charge density. So this will adopt a tetrahedral arrangement, a tetrahedral organization. We drop the tetrahedral shape over the nitrogen, you'll see that one particle can adopt the each part of the tetrahedron. If we want to just give it a bit of perspective. And here oh I've lifted the wrong one. So this gives us the ammonium ion with a a positive charge. And each pair of electrons is absolutely equivalent and identical. And so even though this is a dative coordinate bond or appears to have been formed as a dative coordinate bond, all four bonds are totally equivalent. It is a perfect tetrahedral structure with a bond angle of 109 degrees 28 minutes.